Are you sure you're alone? Who gave you those roses? I'm like, boy, you're asking too much. Girl, your Spanish is no bueno. Oh, if you know papiamento, it's the best expression to express something that is really good. <gasps> Okay, so I bought this Calypso. It's Kiwi Lemonade. I'm going to try it. Um, I already tried the um, Strawberry Lemonade. It was really good. So I wanted to try this one because it was tempting me. And also they have like a few other flavors. They also have watermelon. I saw blueberry or raspberry or something like that. Like a bunch of other flavors. So I'm gonna just test this out right now and see if I like it. And another day we're going to test another one. Who knows? It's actually good. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, second one that I love. Kiwi and strawberry is a hit. Yeah, let me go eat. Oh, and by the way, um, the vlog that is uploaded previous week it's going to be up late because right now it's still processing on YouTube. I got a copyright claim and I had to mute the footage, but it takes like a bunch of time on YouTube to process the video and mute the little footage. So yeah, I'm sorry for that, but it's still going to be up. If it's not up today, which is Tuesday, then it's the day after, which is Wednesday. But if you're watching this vlog right now, it's already uploaded. If you didn't watch that vlog, Make sure to check that out because it's a whole vibe in that vlog. So yeah, I'm going to just eat right now. And I'm going to talk to y'all later. Later? No, tomorrow. Ignore the hair. Hi, hi. So this is the next day. Um, I'm going to check in my wardrobes um, what I have. Because I don't think that I'm going to head to Zara or H&M. I don't think if I told y'all. I don't know. But today I'm going on a picnic. I'm watching the sunset at Scheveningen by myself, you know, enjoying my alone single season because one that, once that change, I can go back, you know, so we're enjoying it while it lasts. So, yeah, I'm going for a picnic today and I was searching for a pants or a, not really a pants, a short or a skirt. To wear with like this top that i got yesterday at primark but i have like a change of mind um i think i'm going to wear like a bikini top instead because it's at the beach and i want to give like the beach vibes so yeah but i will have to look what i have because i don't really know what i have so we're going to search and see what we're going to get in the walk-in or in all the clothing that i have because I know for sure that I have something that I can wear. So yeah, I want it to be cute but not too dramatic. Because, you know, yeah, I don't want to carry too much things. I also want to take like a few pictures. And also take like a um, few videos, vlog, make a reel maybe. Like, you know, all the shenanigans. So I'm also going to head with my tripod. But right now we're going to start with searching for an outfit. And... Um, maybe i guess i think i need to have to um albertain um to buy like a few things that i will need for the picnic not a, like a bunch of things just simple things i want to also get a wine but i'm not sure yet so we will see but let's start with the first thing okay outfit let's go so um, i'm going to search right now what i have and then i'm going to get back with y'all and show y'all so y'all can choose yeah let's do that all right so this is the first outfit huh i don't know how i feel about it i don't really really feel it for a picnic i feel like if i wear this dress with a heel or something else on it like a um blazer it will be perfect for a chic occasion but for picnic no i think it's a no but yeah Keep this in mind, on to the next fit. This is outfit number two. Like, it's giving me like 
especially the top part is giving me pretty much a picnic vibe but i don't know about the bottom part because it's kind of like it fits other occasions also but still it's kind of cute for a picnic i guess or is it too chic i don't know i think i'm going like the extreme for a picnic hmm let's see what else we can put together first but i love the top it's giving me pretty much the beach vibes so maybe if i change the bottom let's see okay so i have also this one i love it but the only thing is all of this is out and no i don't want to be like that anymore like i'm not the, that young age anymore you know so hmm, i don't know and i really don't know what else i do have i know for sure i have more things so i'm gonna i have to brainstorm a few things hi <sighs> this thing is so much difficult than i expected okay baby so this is the last outfit that i put together um i don't know about the bikini because the thing is, in Curacao, if you wear like a bikini or something, I can just get in my car and drive to the location. But I do have to get the public transportation and I don't want to be too exposed. So, yeah, but it's definitely appropriate for a picnic on the beach because the sun is going to set around 10 p.m. today. And when I get back home, it's going to be a little bit chilly. So if I have one of these on hand, it will be so convenient. The bag is definitely a go and some slippers what do y'all think which one which one okay so i decided on my final outfit it turned out to be a whole completely other outfit so yeah that's me and right now i'm just organizing my bag get everything ready and also thinking which drink i'm going to drink and which snack get everything ready end up dealing with the vlog that it's uploaded late the day after because due to the whole copywriting and uh, if i had to run to the supermarket then i will be doing that like in these hours and then get ready for the picnic so i went to albertine for one thing like go go control yourself so let's do a quick grocery haul i got some donuts some bread because i ran out of bread milk because i ran out of milk Be so if you watch it honestly i bought like things that were necessary this wasn't really necessary but i love it oh yeah why not um i bought two of these this is the blower pasta so blueberries um cheesecake i also bought a lemon cheesecake i don't know where it is this juice it hits it hits i love it i really do a bottle of water because i ran out of water so if you watch it it was a little bit necessary shave coconut water and some cherries so yeah and also some a red roses, a bouquet, because why not? I love it. Babies! Oh, yay, chum. Okay, my hair is almost done. I'm just going to do my baby hairs. And then I'm just going to finish putting um, the snacks and the drinks. No, I want to buy the drink, but I do have the snacks. Wait. Yeah, I want to buy the drink and i do have the snacks already so i have to put them in the bag and then head out i'm so excited to catch the sunset oh my god how can a person be so excited to catch the sunset like am i the only one that get excited and love me some sunset i don't think so it's so relaxing it's so beautiful i love it so i'm just going to do my baby hairs real quick so we can head out I will show you all my outfit at the end. I change outfit like five times, I guess. <laughs> because the outfit that I'm wearing right now, I wanted to wear with a short and this bodysuit. But then I decided, you know what? I think a sweatpants would be also so cute. 
So, and also considering the chilliness at the beach late at night, I think that will be the best option instead of a shirt because I know my damn self. So yeah, I put on these sweatpants instead, but I will show y'all. But I do have some sandals on my feet, so... Yeah, let me just moisturize my face because I didn't even wash my face appropriate today. But I'm just gonna add some moisturizer. I'm gonna pop my lenses also in and a sunglass. Perm. Where is my moisturizer? When you're blind, it's like this. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I'm really, really excited to catch the sunset at the beach. Hi. So... Yeah. Yes. All right, face is moisturized. Let's pop in the lenses and do the rest and head out because it's already past eight. I just finished posting the vlog. I will pop it on the screen and also at the end so you can watch it. So, let's go. Okay, so this is the look wait this is the look y'all this is it isn't this cute i love it i really do with my bag with my red roses with my blanket i also have my cherry my um what do you call it portemonnaie i will pop it on the screen i don't even wall it yeah <laughs> And my wallet so we are ready to come let's head out i'm going to buy a calypso at the um mini market right at my right beside my house and then have to grab the tram so we can head there if not then we will miss the sunset and i don't want to miss it so let's go secured the calypso i grabbed this triple melon lemonade so yeah let's head and grab the tram I totally forgot my tripod, but we're going to improvise and get some cute footages. But oh my gosh, I'm in overdose already. Right now, I'm searching for a spot so we can sit and admire the sunset together. what the fuck like look at this bitch like what are you doing here like i hate them like go away <laughs> give me my peace of mind oh my gosh the sun is just fading away so i'm gonna enjoy it for a bit though excuse me bye party is over the sun Run away, but still we have like a beautiful sky. I love it. I'm a sucker for nature. Oh my god. Why am I like this? I'm such a sucker for nature. Such a sucker. But yeah, I'm also really thankful um, that I decided to wear this outfit because it's chilly. If I had the shorts, 
Yeah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Me again, no. There's something about this, so relaxing, like hearing the waves and just seeing the sunset, the atmosphere, connecting with nature. It's everything, it's really everything. And just chilling with your snacks, with your drink, lay back. <sighs> wow. I need to do this often. I really need to do this often. And you should try it also. You will be so thankful. Oh my god. Uh, wow. <laughs> this is all I can say right now. So two guys approached me like a few minutes ago. They're from Venezuela. They were really friendly and they speak Spanish and English she spoke English with me and I wanted to say like I do understand you can speak Spanish if you feel comfortable but then I was like girl your Spanish is no bueno it's not really bad I can speak it though but I will have to search for the words to you know get the conversation going so I was like you know keep it chill keep it classy and just speak English back to them <laughs> and yeah they were really friendly really, really friendly and they were telling me that they were eating a burger and the seagulls took their burger and i was like i would cry i would legitimately cry no like where are you going with my burger like what <laughs> but yeah super super fun like these things happen when you just chill by yourself they also asked me like are you alone by yourself a beautiful lady like you can be single sitting here alone like be careful i'm like a oh boy chill i'm okay i'm okay <laughs> you know <laughs> and they saw the roses the red roses that i have they asked me are you sure you're alone who gave you those roses i'm like boy you're asking too much you're asking too much that's not of your information like why do you need to know who gave me those flowers i could give them to myself or somebody can give them to me without you know nothing attached or if i have a husband or the pops give it to me then who cares like it's none of your concern boy <laughs> but they were so legitimately so friendly so yeah um he also asked me for my number and i was like uh -uh. i don't give my number but he really approached it and accepted like with no problem he was like okay i respect that have a nice day and I was like, yes, you too, bye-bye. I like those type of men. Like, don't keep on asking why can I have your no, no. Just no, accept the no, and just keep on walking, you know? But yeah, I'm just gonna chill here for like half an hour, and then I'm going to check the tram before it gets too late, because I think right now it's already 10.30 or something before 11. So yeah, and it's also getting a little bit chilly. So we will have to run back home pretty soon. So I'm just gonna sit here, enjoy it for a bit. I don't know when we'll be doing this again. Maybe next time I will be, you know, having a picnic, um, you know, appreciating and watching the sunset, catching the sunset with my husband. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> manifesting it, manifesting it. Per. Per. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so today we are heading to Verlinden Museum. Wait, we're going to take some pictures. It's been a while since I saw him. Like, kano si mang? Siguro ng kwatas si mang uluna siguro na. Lagi na mas kuluna si gumio. I think more than a month <laughs> since I saw him. Like, 
that's why I've been lacking with my pictures because he does take my picture for me and he is working busy with life and I do understand you know I do sometimes <laughs> so right now we're heading to Forlena Museum so it's like a fun day and also content day which I'm really excited for when I arrive there I will show you all my outfit or in the bus I don't know so we will meet y'all there in this neighbor like it's super chill neighbor and we have to walk we don't know how long <laughs> to the museum but it's super chilly we are what talking you? there <laughs> 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 enjoying the view and also the vibe like the atmosphere right here is just everything we are loving it and also admiring like the expensive housings and stuff amazing because one day we're also going to get our house like you know being bougie expensive cars you know <laughs> manifesting it per <laughs> per senor tenenos oros amen mi saco ba tenenos amen amen so y'all this is my outfit i didn't show y'all so this is it stradivarius primark primark i guess she in <laughs> Let's go. Look, look at this house. Look at this house. Oh my god! Like the whole time you are like, whoa, de. If you know Papiamento, it's the best expression. To express something that is really good. Like there's many ways to say whoa, but <laughs> it's a cuss word, you know. So it's not a good thing to say it often, but yeah we do express ourselves like that so that was good day. <laughs> exactly <laughs> so this is the entryway for the museum we have to walk like a few miles still to reach the museum is right in the back right there so yeah vibes oh my gosh okay i don't want to get too close but <laughs> Ew! Ew! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this path funny thing is i dreamed about this specific location a few months ago how funny is that like that's not a coincidence right <laughs> i dreamed about this path like exactly like this hmm amazing <laughs> Alright, let's go! <laughs> It 
soft moves when it doesn't fall off. Like, how is that possible? Look, look, look. This is amazing. This is art, man. I'm, sh I'm in shock. I love this one. Like, I love it. one it's made out of bread but how can they keep it so fresh and also the body it's formed by taking so many bites around the bread the um, slices of the bread nice we <laughs> already fucked that up <laughs> Let's see, let's see. Hey, what a piece I know you. <laughs> okay, okay. Is everything okay? I'm following you. I'm following you. What a piece you. <laughs> what? Timako. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh my god. What? We need to do this often. I think I can be Echt. I love this white people shit. <laughs>
climb up. We can climb up. Do you know we can climb up, like? <laughs> I know, Aji. <laughs> this is so cool. This I did, this was the last month for him seeing him. I really enjoyed it. How about this back? So so. It was the best, best spending ever in the day. So so. The fact that you can interact with the art, it's amazing. I really enjoyed it. Aprendido. I had such a great time at Verlinden Museum. I really, really enjoyed it. I can't lie. One thing that we noticed is like, we were like only three, four people that were yeah. dark skin. Mm -hmm. Like nothing against, no skin color, <laughs> nothing. But we were like around the white people <laughs> doing white people shit. shit. And it felt good. It felt really good. So we're looking forward to do it more often <laughs> and just enjoy it, you know? And they were staring at us like, who are these people? But not in a bad way. They were staring like, I never seen such beautiful people ever in our life. <laughs> and we were like, yes, because we glow. We are magical, you know? <laughs> nice. <laughs> so yeah, I'll meet y'all or talk to y'all later, I guess. Say bye bye. Andela Gran. Grr. Sagaba. Okay, so hi babies. I'm back home. I just went real quick to the supermarket just like buy like eggs, bread and stuff so I can eat in the morning. I think by Wednesday I will head to the grocery store or Tuesday. I don't know because tomorrow I put that I will be editing. And yeah, when I start editing, I don't like to get out of house. So yeah, I ran to the supermarket and also went to Starbucks. I got a carrot cake and also a ham and cheese toasty. That thing was cold. So I had to quickly pop it in the oven to warm it up because that thing was really cold. And also some carrot cake. I like my carrot cake warm. So always, because it has like the, the um, what do you call this? I don't know, the white thing on top. When you warm it up, it kind of melts, but it's really good. The lemon cake is also really good, but I prefer the carrot cake. It's delicious. It's better than the lemon cake. And also, I bought my own reusable cup that I got from Starbucks. I have this like since last year. And when you go with your own reusable cup, you will get like a discount. And also, if you're a student, you can always show them your student card and you will get 20% off. I think you also will get like one um, snack for free with a drink i don't know something like that so yeah um i ordered a chai latte with oat, mi oat milk as yush per yush so do y'all hear the thing in the back there i think there's like a festival because i saw like many people on the boat like on the river and they were all dressed and stuff and there were so ma there are so many people standing outside watching them but i don't know what it is y'all yeah, and i'm not really interested to be honest so yeah i'm going to just enjoy my starbucks right now and uh, later on i will check up with y'all i think maybe i can start editing today if that's a good choice because i don't have like nothing really planned so if i start editing today tomorrow i will head to a coffee um store a cafe and um, work on a few things a few product checks and when it's so far, I will let y'all know what it is. Okay, so I figured that it's a whole parade going outside. Going on outside. Let me see if I can. You can't really see though. No. 
my bad sorry but it's a whole parade and i think it's kind of it looks kind of fun so i'm just going to eat and then maybe head outside and see if we are going to catch like two boats so y'all can see what's happening outside i don't know we will see because it might just be it i don't know because it's been going on since early today i think around eight i already start hearing like music and stuff playing outside so i don't know how long it's gonna be but i'm just going to eat and see if there's more and if there's more we're going to just run downstairs and i can show y'all what's happening okay so we are back um right now i'm cooking i'm going to try to make something new something that i never tried before so i want to make like this um burrito with vegetables chicken strips mozzarella cheese and rice so yeah wish me luck um the chicken is already done i already fried the vegetables if you saw in the footage before and right now I'm just waiting on the rice and then we're going to add everything up I will try to film it and see if I can roll it up and make it like a whole burrito if not then it's going to be like a burrito bowl because yeah struggles lifestyle struggles <laughs> um so yeah I wish I had like um corn and beans red beans then it would it, then it would have been like a mexican burrito but unfortunately i don't have red beans or corn so we're going to just you know use what they have for now and then um, when we're going to do some grocery shopping i will add those two to the cart so yeah also it's going to be a little bit dry i'm just going to add like a bit of bit of um mayonnaise on the tortilla because I don't have like the chicken in sauce or anything because I want it to be like tasty but to not too saucy so yeah I'm just going to add like a bit of, a little bit of mayo on it and that's it um what else do I need to add on I don't think nothing else okay so we're going to make it happen oh I had to heat up my tortilla roll Give me a minute. I'm also heating up my chicken so I can get it warm so the cheese can melt. So yeah, I will be turning on the camera when everything is done. Okay, so we're good to go. I heated up the tortilla just a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of mayonnaise. Mayo! Just a little bit. I'm not even a fan of mayo, so yeah. I'm going to also add a little bit on the chicken itself so you can get a little bit more saucy just a little bit you know spread it good y'all don't look at my skills the thing just needs to taste good I'm not a chef or anything so yeah we only have to fill up our stomach I think the smartest thing to do right now is just add the rice. The rice is hot, hot, hot. Red hot. Okay, heading to vegetables. Okay, okay, okay. Like, you don't have to be too dramatic. All right, and now let's add the chicken. Chicken! Shut on, shut on. Y'all, I know y'all ain't seeing shit or, or am I buying? Yeah, I think that's it with the chicken. Because I know for sure I won't be able to roll it up. And just a little bit more of the mayo on top. Like so. I think that's enough or not just a little bit more yeah that's more than enough anyways and uh, let's not forget about the cheese cheese mozzarella cheese hello oh 
Oh my god, look at this chunk of cheese. Oh yeah yeah okay 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 I think that's enough and let's try to roll this thing up give me a minute because I like it at the same time let's roll it up and see oh my gosh what what is gonna happen wow yeah yeah okay go in go in i never worked at subway or anything so i know for sure i have to do it like this if i had like tin foils then i think it would have be handier but i don't so for now it's gonna be like this <laughs> okay that part is folded only this part is open so we're going to eat from this part yeah mission accomplished I ain't gonna make my life difficult right now let me just put these things away and we're going to do a taste test okay so I got here the burrito the tortilla roll and let me just grab a little bit of juice not even juice I'm just going to drink some coconut water with it because i'm obsessed i'm obsessed and also oh let me show y'all this juice that i've been drinking it's so good it's by spa and it's not too sweet it's this one y'all will have to try it it's so good i didn't try the other flavor yet i think the other one is blueberry something but it's really good and it's not too sweet which i like so Let's taste test this thing. Let me see if I can hold my camera just a little bit up. Anyway, it's not going. Wait. Right? Yeah, I think so. So, let's taste test this thing. Woo! It's full, baby. It's full. It's actually really good. Look at the oil. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. 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 Definitely only missing the red beans and the corn. But it's already given quesadilla Mexican taste. I love it. I think the mayo give it like the extra flavor that is needed mm. mm-hmm mm-hmm let's just try this out it's really good it's actually so good wow They didn't even expect it to be so good. But anyway, I'm just going to enjoy it. I think I will be making another one. Because I have like chicken, rice and also vegetable left. And the next time that I'm going to make it, I'm going to add beans and also corn to it. Yeah. See you later. Or in the next vlog.